I'm deeply honored to win this year's award from CIE. Uh, CIE has more than 100 years history. It's uh, well known in America. I wish the Institute will continue really expand and also help the whole like uh, science community. I'm so happy to receive this award and thanks uh, for the award committee uh, to uh, give me this award. And I would like to take this opportunity uh, to uh, take this award uh, to the, all the co-founders of uh, Apache Design Solutions, including Xuan Ling and uh, Andrew Yan, that uh, during the 201, that at that time, that uh, we have some ideas uh, for the dynamic IR drop, and at that time, uh, it does, the, in the market, it does not exist. It only had a static IR drop. But, uh, like, but we need to convince uh, customers in the first couple of years like, for the importance of the dynamic IR drop due to the simultaneous switching may not be due to the inductive uh, uh, effect on the high frequency design because at that time there's not too much uh, high frequency design. And I really like to uh, thank uh, everyone uh, at, the, at this uh, organization uh, committee and uh, congratulations uh, for the great success of the event uh, for the many, many years before, including this year. And uh, thank you very much. And I hope that all the people like, who are interested in starting a, up a company and are inspired uh, to look for the new ideas and to take a look at the adaptive innovation that I will talk about tonight that uh, using the innovation but listen to customers and so that's why it's called the adaptive innovation and you are, if you understand the market understand your customers concern then you have a higher chance to be more successful uh, exceeding your customers request for the next two to five years and so on the other uh, comment I have is that uh, keep on exercise every day that if you have energy uh, to start your day uh, with the exercise then you have more ideas and that's why I play tennis every morning before I start working and so I have more energy to think about new ideas talking to customers whole day and then uh, and then come out something that uh, we can we can benefit uh, to the whole human society so thank you very much to receive the awards of Technology and the Humanities Awards from CIE. It's very exciting to be part of this annual event. I flew a long way from Taipei to uh, Bay Area to participate this uh, for not just uh, receiving the awards, but also to share some of my opinion and what I've been through with all the members of CIE. Hi everyone, I'm Yan Zhao, Mayor of City of Saratoga. It is my pleasure to attend the 45th year of CIE Annual Conference. Uh, this year's theme is about artificial intelligence. So this is such a trendy topic, but again, it's also it's very uh, talked about by all the city government. We want to learn and how the city government can use AI to help uh, our government to be more efficient and more transparent to serve our community. So I'm looking forward to the keynote speaker tonight. Once again, I want to congratulate the CIE on their 45th anniversary celebration, and I wish them uh, continued success in the future. We built tools and we call frameworks to serve the AI communities to make sure it can build AI models and train the models more efficiently and faster and hope to be part of this AI renovation. I'm actually honored to be presented here as being part of the software engineers moving the needles, we call it the engineers. I know there's many Chinese engineers be part of it. Each one of them play a you know, small role, unique roles in this AI movement. I would wish the CIE will get better and better, more people come into play and share the ideas. And connections, connections create new ideas. This is very important. Please join us for the next round of um, annual meetings. Far from now, I think the ability to collaborate and partner between open source technologies and platforms and private commercial entities will become an increasing importance. I'm very excited to be here. While I have never actually been a member of the organization, my father-in-law was nearly 20 years ago. So when I told him that I was going to be participating in this year's CIE conference, he was elated, excited, 
for the chance for me to be able to share any knowledge that might be helpful to future generations and to the community at large. So thank you for having me. We're so happy to be here and to be talking with high school students about AI. So CIE is a really wonderful organization because it allows students and adults to really form relationships, to network, and to share best practices and information. This is really important, especially as we're headed into the age of AI innovation. Students will be able to talk with each other and learn from one another and from veterans in the field. Congratulations to CIE on 45 successful years. Here's to another 45 plus more. We are a startup and uh, trying to use AI to solve education problems. Uh, CIE has a long history and has helping the community, not just the engineers, but society in general. Uh, this is the birthplace of Silicon Valley to foster that creativity innovation. And we need this organization to bring all the collective wisdom together. And moving forward in this day and age, you know, the previous Chinese generation came here here work as an engineer. Now more and more of them are becoming entrepreneurs, investors, building companies. So this is a very exciting time uh, for not just the, as an individual contributor, but as an organization, that institutional power to be gathered around an organization like a CIE and I'm really looking forward to the next annual conference and more people joining this organization. I give some con congratulations from this event because this event is very, uh, very good event, very different to the, from the international, from other startup. I think the, I want to attend another, another. Uh, that's all. Thank you. So, first of all, it's a huge pleasure to be here at the conference. Uh, it's an important event for the community, and I'm happy to be serving oh. as a part of it. Um, as, as at AMD, uh, we provide leadership computing platforms across a broad set of markets. The thing that we feel differently about AMD AI is that we service all the markets spanning from the cloud to the endpoint to the edge. And we call this a pervasive AI strategy. Uh, we also feel AI is going to be a hugely important factor in the endpoints where you have things like PCs that are going to get transformed as AI PCs. So across all markets, AI is going to be transformed. And as these transformations come about in the computing platforms, the kind of applications that get enabled is going to be amazing.